The day bed is constructed primarily of 2x3s, 1x3s, and 3 quarter inch plywood. The dimensions required will depend on the size of the mattress you select to use. Begin by cutting 2x3s for the two side frames. Lay out these parts on a table and attach the horizontal rails between the vertical supports. We're pre-drilling with a countersink bit so we can putty over the screw holes later on. When both sides are assembled, cut two pieces of plywood to the inside dimensions of the frames. The plywood panels fit inside the frames centered on the 2x3. Fasten the plywood using the same technique used on the frame. Now we can join the two sides with 2x3s at the top and bottom that are the same length as the mattress. This will be the back of the day bed. Another plywood panel is cut to fit into this opening and attached just like the side panels. Next we attach 1x3s to the inside of the bottom rails using finish nails. More 1x3s are used to cap the top of the frame for both the sides and the back. Across the front of the bed, we're nailing a 1x6 skirt board between the sides flush with the inside edge of the frame. Behind it, we attach a 2x3 support for the front edge. Next, another 2x3 support is added midway between the front and the back of the bed. Now we can begin attaching the 1x3 slats that will support the mattress running from front to back. These slats are spaced at about 3 inch intervals. Next, we prime the frame, caulk all the seams, and apply two coats of paint. The final touch is the addition of caning panels on the sides and back of the bed. Staples hold the caning in place until we can attach a piece of narrow molding to conceal the ragged edges and give the bed a nice finished look.